projects going on and the reason we're doing this project today is because we want to go in and get the animals here in order to get the animals over here to the new homestead we've got to have water so we're going to be putting a roof on the top of the shipping container and then we will catch water off of it to water the animals so we're going to go ahead and get that done today and then we'll start on it today hopefully we'll show you how we're going to do it and i'll explain to you why we're doing it this way because we're going to be adding something else onto this building in the near future so i'll show you how we're doing it and why we're doing it this way and then hopefully we'll be getting animals over here soon so someone has been looking for their boot they told me they had lost their boot they had one boot and he needed a new pair of boots does anyone see the missing boot it's so dull of color i don't know how anybody can see it dad how did you lose your boot and the generator <laughs> with a screwdriver in it and the boot oh yeah yeah so the container that we are going to be putting the roof on top of is eight feet wide because we're going to be putting metal on top of this to make the roof for water um, catchment the metal comes in 38 inch sheets but you have to overlap it by two inches so it's going to be like nine foot two inches um across when we're all done so we're going to be cutting these boards somewhere around nine foot one or two what are you going with uh, nine foot one and three quarters i think nine foot one and three quarters then we will t attach these to the roof of the container before we can attach the metal. So here's our setup. Yes? Um, I want you to come down here. I will. We got to finish. Okay. Not much longer. Go find something to play. What you playing? Drawing in the sand. Drawing in the sand? So we're doing a little bit of a hole so that the head will sink down into the board so that the metal won't sit up when we go to put that on the roof. Oh yeah, that's solid. On this edge, we're lining them directly up flush against the edge of the container. Now the reason for that is that we will have a pole barn going this direction that will the roof will slant this way and will flow back on to this roof that we're putting up and all of our water will flow that way and then come down into the water catchment container which will be on that end 
But before we get this up, we still need water. And you would be shocked at the amount of water you can collect off of just one roof. This is an eight by 40 shipping container. And you can c collect a lot of water off of just one rainstorm. We had like pouring down rain last night. Had we had this up already, we could have caught a whole lot of water for the animals. So Six or 700 gallons. we're gonna go ahead and get the metal on this and then we'll go on ahead and start catching the rainwater here and then once the tractor shed is built um, that water will flow onto this roof which will then fill up the container as well i made a cinnamon holder <laughs> nice cinnamon holder. watch this it's a lot of cinnamon We got all those boards put across the top of the container and now all we have to do is put the metal up. We can't do it today because it is so windy. It would be like a sailboat and blow us off the top of that <laughs> container. <laughs> so we'll get that done this week and then we'll put the gutter up and then we will be able to start collecting water for the animals. So thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here at Cram Farms.